One of the, the benefits of being a physician researcher is that um, you know, I'm able to think about both how things work at a scientific level and I'm also able to think about what is the unmet clinical need. Um, so you know, as a practicing physician, as a practicing surgeon, I have a pretty good idea what are the things that our patients need uh, to take their care to the next level. Um, I'm also surrounded by you know, a really outstanding group of physicians who, as I am, are committed to the care of these patients, and I use that. One of the great things about the Texas Medical Center is that you have so many institutions that are so close to each other um, that people get to know each other. One of the benefits of that sort of collaboration is that you actually can accelerate uh, progress to uh, develop new therapies, new strategies for treating patients. Um, you can actually push your science forward faster and accelerate discovery by working together. I think that um, for me, translating uh, scientific discovery from the lab into the clinic is where I can actually make a difference and I can actually hopefully push things a little further so that uh, we can develop new strategies for treating patients and uh, new concepts like immunotherapy. You know, immunotherapy is basically teaching your own body's uh, immune cells how to recognize what shouldn't be there and getting them stimulated getting them focused, getting them activated, and sending them where they need to go in order to um, you know, better the health of the patients. So in our case, um, you know, the target is cancer. And cancer cells, although they start out as part of your own body's cells, they're different enough that your body can recognize those differences. And your body can be educated by things like vaccination. Uh, to better recognize what's different about a cancer cell and be able to target it and eliminate it um, by using the immune system. And different strategies for doing that can include, as I said, vaccination. It can include um, another strategy called checkpoint blockade inhibition, where basically you figure out some of the molecules that cancer cells express that actually shut your immune system down because the cancer cells know that your immune system is not, uh, is not going to be good for it. Um, and you can block those molecules and unleash the patient's own immune system. Um, and then there's other strategies as well, but the whole concept is basically one of education. You want to take your immune system, uh, which has a lot on its mind and has a lot of things it has to recognize, and you want to really focus it on the cancer cells and say, hey, this is something that you should really recognize and you should be targeting right now.